Hi there, welcome to QA Box Let's Test. If you have not already subscribed to this channel, kindly do so. And if you like the video, give them the thumbs up. All right, so in this video, we are going to talk about command line usage in Mocha. So there are a lot of uh, flags which you can use while running your test cases in the command line. All right, so one such flag is timeout. We have already seen uh, timeout in the previous video when you know we said this first from the uh, mocha rc.js file uh, which ensures that this setting is applied to the complete project then we moved on to the suite and the test level all right so you can also provide the timeout configuration from your command line all right the next one is parallel so if you have two test files and you want to execute tests inside those files parallelly then you have to use this flag all right or there are a lot of things which you have to uh know before you use this flag because you know reports don't work uh with uh you know with this flag some reports right not all uh then we have got this hyphen hyphen bail so you want to abort your test case execution the moment you hit the first uh fail test all right hyphen f and hyphen g are basically the test filters uh, and uh what happens is let's say you have a suite which has got a lot of test cases but then there are certain test cases whose uh, name contain the word regression and you want to execute only those right so with the help of hyphen f or hyphen g you can uh, filter out those test cases and execute only those all right so these are some of the important ones uh so if you want to look at the complete list, all you have to do is open your terminal and write and say mocha hyphen H, which stands for help. And you will see the list of all those options. And this is how you're going to use is mocha. Then you have the debug and the option and the file, right? So these are the different options available. And what you can also do is you can open the uh, mocha dot mocha.js.org and search for this command line usage all right uh, so the first one is bail uh, now what you can do is you can either pass it from the command line all right or what you can also do is so you can go to your package.json and accordingly add a value so instead uh, of updating this so let's say we are going to name it so this way you will learn one more concept so we are going to give it a different name and let's say we are saying it config right or command line all right so now we have created this so what we are going to do is we are going to say hyphen bail all right so hyphen b we are going to save that and let us come in here so the first test case is failing the other two are passing all right and the reason is i've added this extra t all right so let me save this and this time because we are not going for the reserve keyword in node this is our own uh, command that we have created all right so the way we are going to execute a node is npm run we have to use run now and we have to provide in the the name of the script which is command line all right so if i okay not there i have to paste it here all right so if i execute this i should see hyphen b yeah it's there all right it's running and we get this error and as you could see that only the first test case is executed and others were ignored all right so great so this is about it we can also do report all right so by default is spec so if i want to change it to dot or progress let me do this all right and now let us execute this again all right and let us see what are we going to get now all right so you see the progress report right so it's it's different all right um, let us uh, change the report once again uh, the other one is dot all right if we do this so you will see a different report this time so you could see it's a different dot report all right so not a progress report all right so what else can we do we can also do parallel all right so when we do parallel we require multiple files so as you could see here what we are doing is we are just restricting our test cases uh 
to this particular file so let me get rid of this so that now all the other files would be considered and all i have to say is hyphen hyphen parallel i guess that's the flag name uh, before we execute that so let us first uh, find out parallel all right so yes uh, yeah parallel test all right so you have to click on this so as you could see that we can gain the the performance benefits when running the test cases however there are certain um, you know limitations when you run uh, tests into parallel uh, some are like reporter limitation so these reports won't work uh, when tests are run in parallel mode right exclusive tests are also disallowed like you know exclusive tests we talked about that test cases or suite which have this keyword uh, or this method only all right so they also we have a limitation file order is also not deterministic all right so we saw that uh, in the command line when we said mocha you know hyphen help at the end we have the file all right so then also we have the limitation and also like test duration uh, with variability because you know when you run test cases into parallel you know it generates extra load onto the system resources which means that some of your test cases may take longer all right which means then you have to increase the timeout accordingly all right so these are some limitations which you have to take note of while running your test cases into parallel and the way you are going to execute it all we have to say mocha hyphen hyphen parallel and then these uh, files would get executed parallelly all right and if we just say this of course you'll not uh, see a big difference at this point of time but when you run those last test cases then you will definitely see uh, some improvement but 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 just take care of those limitations all right so what else do we have in the command line usage so let us open the table again yeah. so command line usage okay so we also have to test talk about test filters all right so let us see this particular thing in action so this is the last one that we are going to cover in the parameters so for that uh, now i don't require this all right and yeah we're good enough all right so we are going to work on this one file async app dot spec dot something all right so what are we going to do is i'm going to first take this async out from here and now we have a sync only in this test case all right so now what i want to do is i want to execute npm test and what we can do here is we can say hyphen g and then we have to provide the string and the string says a sync all right so i've saved this and i'm going to execute this so only one test case should get executed because only one test case has that name so as you could see that only one test case so this is the suite and this is the name of the test case and if you go here right so this is the test case all right so now what will happen if i add this word over here all right and now if we execute this So you could see again the difference here now is all three are executed right the suite was identified with that and then everything inside that was executed all right so this is how we have to understand that so imagine you have one more right and then one has this async keyword other doesn't right and if we execute that so only the first one would get executed so the filtering would applied only at one level all right so now you could see only one is being executed the other base is being ignored so that's how you can filter out your tests while uh, at the runtime okay all right thank you so much